You know, I think always one finds that things are cyclical. So things come into fashion, things go out of fashion. And very often when an economy is new and bursting, one looks at older things as old fashion till they're revitalized and given a new life. It is true that gold is very beautiful on Indian skin, but because gold has been associated as a commodity that sold as weight, perhaps the due design and attention to detail and the correct projection hasn't happened, which I think now with designers and certainly what we're trying to do, because we believe in the values of it, are trying to change that perception by showing the finesse and what it really can be used for and how sophisticatedly it can be worn. So since gold has always been the medium in India, or the primary medium, the craftsmanship which we talked about earlier has extended to the making of gold jewelry, which is a superb. For instance, I have this piece here, which is, I've him seen to draw something like this, to even embroider something like this, much less to fashion in a metal, in a trellis thing that is so fine, that it's almost like a French lace, but made in metal. This is craftsmanship. And what we are attempting to do is to marry these amazing techniques that you could only do by hand with the patience of an angel to contemporary fit and form so that it finds a new life. But really, if one looked at this for make, this is absolutely exquisite. We grew up with gold. Our grandmothers wore gold. People bought gold and cherished it. It's what they saved through. And even in this changing world where other materials become important, there's an emotional connect to gold. Even though gold moved into more casual players, it moved into Italian gold, it moved into sportswear gold, now there's gold watches. But we're bringing it back into this fantastic thing for the night, whether it's for bridal or not, because it's something that sits beautifully on Indian skin, on all tones of Indian skin. Well, my inspiration is always structured drape. How do we make India contemporary? And so I thought if I took a bright gold lenga or something, you know, it's been done before and it will be viewed as something ethnic that's good for Indians. And I don't want that. I'm taking contemporary India to Khan. So we've structured, draped a kind of sari gown. You wear a choli, but you wear this slip up thing that is based on a sari, but is really like a light floating evening gown. So it makes it contemporary. That's what I'm showing.